I'm Edwin van Beek. I'm the Synapse Chair of Clinical Radiology of the University of Edinburgh and the, the Director of the Clinical Research Imaging Centre. The uh, Clinical Research Imaging Centre is a partnership between the University of Edinburgh and NHS Lothian, so we offer uh, patients uh, imaging services. Um, the PET-CT scanner is 70% clinical and all oncology patients who, who require those sort of investigations are being seen within our centre. Um, but also we have the capabilities, for instance, on CT where we have various cardiovascular diseases that are also being scanned in our centre, which is all patient-related care. Uh, the nice thing is that because we are able to do clinical research, we're also um, using the opportunity to having patients come through our centre as part of research projects, ultimately to help find new ways of putting that into clinical practice. A technique that I'm particularly interested in is called magnetic resonance elastography, MRE for short. M MRE measures the stiffness of tissues in the human body and it does so by um, the introduction of sound waves into the tissues. By using magnetic resonance elastography we will be able to look at the stiffness of the deep tissues of the body and we'll be able to see which muscles in a particular muscle group are active in a particular function. For example, this could help stroke patients because and it's unknown at the moment exactly how useful exercise is in rehabilitation after stroke. Obviously, it can be quite stressful for the patient to have to exercise. By understanding which muscles are affected in the stroke patient, it would be possible to tailor exercises particularly uh, for the patient, patient's benefit and we'll be able to better understand the value of exercise in stroke. The centre itself has such uh, state-of-the-art high-end imaging facilities that we have a real possibility of really getting to the edge of what's possible currently with imaging as we are today. Uh, what that will hopefully mean is that uh, by doing so we will be able to introduce those technologies that, as we develop them into actual routine patient care. And um, that's a translation that we are uh, obviously striving for. But not only that, we are also able to generate new information and new knowledge of what is you know, being used in petri dishes and where people have been working with you know, stem cells or have done all sorts of very basic research. And at some point you need to make the jump, okay, how does that look in humans? And that's where we want to go.